Hi all, welcome back. We are back after a long break. We're going to get started with a quantitative comparison question and algebra inequalities. We'll intersperse these quant questions with verbal questions, vocabulary questions from Shweta, and then we'll also have GRE preparation tips and tricks in the form of Gyan videos. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. So as we keep uploading videos, you would get notified of the same and you can get value from it. Let's get started with this question. Question says, x minus y is greater than x plus y. This information is available. We'll have to compare these two quantities, y square and y cube. We know the answer options in quantitative comparison, right? Answer option is A, if quantity A is greater. Option is B, if quantity B is greater. C, if they are equal. D, if there is no way to compare, right? It could be greater or less or equal. If all of those happen, then we'll essentially go about saying D. Let's basically decode this information that's given, right? The question stem information in the slide. X minus y is greater than x plus y. Let's take the x to the left hand side and minus y to the right hand side. So you'll have x minus x is greater than, this goes and becomes a plus y plus y. x minus x is a 0 is greater than 2y. Divide both sides by 2, you'll essentially translate to 0 is greater than y, essentially translating to y is less than 0. So essentially we know y is a negative number. Right? This is the decoding we have done from the question stem. Y is a negative number. Let's check out what quantity A is. If Y is negative, then square of negative number is going to be a positive number. So Y square, quantity A is a positive number. We do not know what it is. It could be 0.2. It could be 80.3. It could be 1,847,000. We do not know what we are talking about. right? So it's a positive number. That much is known. This is Y cube. We know Y is a negative number. So quantity B is the cube of a negative number, which is going to be a negative number. How big can it be? How small can it be? Minus 3, minus 2.8, can be multiple values. Let's do the comparison right now. The comparison is quantity A is y square, which is a positive number. Quantity B, y cube is a negative number. A positive number is always greater than negative number, notwithstanding what the magnitude is. So quantity A is greater than quantity B. Choice A is the correct answer to this question.